What do you know about the election of the Pope? Here's a trivia quiz that was written by Elizabeth Yank, which can be found in Catholic Exchange. First is, uh, when is the last when is the last time a pope stepped down? It was 600 years ago when Pope Gregory XII stepped down in the year 1415 to end the Great Western Schism when there were two and even three rival claims to the papacy. Technically, the pope does not resign. He abdicates the chair of Peter. Next, who chooses the next pope? <coughs> okay, it's the College of Cardinals. Next, how many cardinals are there? Okay, there are currently 203 cardinals from 69 countries. Next, how many cardinals are eligible to vote? Okay, since cardinals <coughs> over 80 may not vote, there are 117 cardinals eligible to vote. Next, uh, how many cardinals will be voting? Besides those cardinals over 80, the cardinals from Jakarta and Edinburgh will not be voting. Therefore, 115 cardinals will be voting. Here's the next one. What is the meaning? Meet, what is the meeting of the cardinals called? And that is called the conclave. Next, uh, how many cardinals live in Rome? There are 75, car 70, 75 cardinals that live in Rome, but they are from all over the world. Next, uh, who is praying for the election of the, no of the next pope? <coughs> <coughs> Besides many faithful Catholics, especially at the beginning of each Mass, a group of contemplative religious sisters from Mexico is praying in the Basilica. Um, where, where are the voting? The voting takes place in the Sistine Chapel in Vatican City. Next, what is the maximum capacity number of electors? Although over 140 cardinals have to come to Rome, the maximum number of electors is 120 cardinals. Uh, next, what does conclave mean? Well, it comes from Latin, and it is cum clavis, which means with a key. They are under lock and key. That means that the cardinals have to maintain absolute secrecy of what's going on. Next, uh, what do we do, what do we call the period when we have no official pope? Okay, here's the Latin word, sede vacante, or empty seat. How many votes are needed? Pope John Paul II changed the rule to a simple majority, whereas Pope Benedict XVI changed the rule back to two-thirds majority, or two-thirds plus one. What does the white and black smoke mean? Okay, the black smoke means they have a voted but they do not have the required votes for a new pope. The white smoke means we have a new pope, and the white smoke is confirmed by the ringing of the bells. How often do the cardinals vote? They have the option to vote on the first day of the conclave. From the second day, two ballots are held in the morning and two in the afternoon. If after three days a decision is not made, they may pause for one day of prayer and discussion. Ballots are burned twice a day with the smoke rising at, at those times. What is Pope Benedict's the sixteenth new name? His name is Pope Emeritus Benedict the sixteenth. What happened to Pope Benedict's ring? The papal ring was destroyed, the papal apartment locked and sealed, the Pope's Twitter account closed, and the Swiss guards went off duty. Who, who's in charge until we have a new pope? Until the new pope is elected, the Cardinal Chamberlain, Vatican Secretary of State, Tercicia Bertoni, is the man in charge of operating the church. What does uh, the expression Abemus Papa mean? We, it means, from Latin, we have a pope. 
After the Pope is elected, the Dean of Cardinals steps onto the balcony of the Vatican and announces, We have a Pope. And finally, how can I be part of the process? You can join others in praying for the voting cardinals that they be open to the Holy Spirit in choosing our next Holy Father. Go to the website adoptacardinal.org. And let's close by praying for the Pope. O oh God, Eternal Shepherd, who govern your flock with unfailing care, grant in your boundless fatherly love a pastor for your church, who will please by His Holiness, and to us show watchful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.